You know, Khalil Shakir admitted that he was a little surprised by Sears' performance last week. He said that Jack handled the offense great. It's not simple, by the way. The, the Boise State offense is very complex. He also mentioned that, you know, he was able to go on the road at a place that Boise State has historically struggled at and help them pick up a victory. We welcome Will Hall back into the program. And Will, I, I want to get back to CT initially calling Jack Jake. There's more to that story because when Jack first arrived in Boise, he texted a couple of receivers, including CT, saying he wanted to go throw, run some routes. CT said, sure, let's go run some routes. It was at that moment that we thought that CT was going to teach Jack the playbook, but as it turned out, it was kind of the other way around. Oh, how the tables have turned, JT. Yeah, I was over at East Junior High this summer. The duo had just arrived back here in Boise after uh, being home at home for quarantine. And they were out at East Junior High working out. And, you know, you look at Jack Sears and we saw what he can do on the field. Exhibit A last week, in his first career start at Boise State, he had as many touchdown passes, three as incompletions in that game. But you two, you, you and myself, JT, we don't really know Jack as a person. We haven't been able to interact with him uh, hardly at all since he's been here in Boise, since he uh, arrived here uh, transferring from USC. But it's one of those things where we learn from the Boise State wide receivers, Khalil Shakir and CT Thomas. They provided a story that gives us a little insight as to the type of person Jack is off the field. Shaq, we had the chance to see what Jack could do on the field. What's he like off the field? He's a cool dude. He's he's so encouraging. You know, it's like, and from a quarterback position, when you have a quarterback that does that, um, it makes you want to go out there and make plays for them. So him off the field, um, cool, fun dude to be around. Um, but I would say he's always about business. This season and this team, you know, we have the opportunity to do something special. So when you have somebody who's running the offense, who even off the field, and, you know, it's just all about business. Um, that means a lot to us. So you mentioned him learning the playbook in about two days. And you personally, you know, the playbook inside and out. And you have to uh, with your versatility within the offense. How difficult is it to learn the playbook as quick as he did? It was fast. It was really fast. And um, I remember CT telling me that um, one of the days I got back, they had been back, I guess, a little early. And they went and ran routes. And this is when we had first got back from court team. And CT went and ran a route and, and Jack goes and cracks him. And we didn't really know Jack at the time. So it was kind of like just a first day thing. And CT kind of looked at him like, like, what? Like, how does he know, like, from a receiver standpoint, that this route is supposed to be three steps instead of four steps? So it's like, honestly, it's insane because it took me a while to learn to know the, the whole playbook. And he kind of just came out there and, and knew it right off the bat. So, yeah, I remember exactly what it was. It was a, um, it was bang. It was a bang route. So bang route, you have four steps, and I ran three steps. So he was like, "AC, hey, uh, take an extra step." And I'm like, I looked at him, kind of like funny, like that's crazy, like that you know that already. You know what I'm saying? So um, that told me right there that you know he came in, he he was ready to work, he was ready to learn the playbook, and he was ready to you know get the receivers trust. So that told me a lot right off the bat from that guy that you know if he knows what the receivers got, you know that that tells you a quarterback is really dialed into what he's doing. So as we just learned from Boise State's wide receiver, Jack Sears, a very diligent uh, when it comes to his preparation week in and week out and mastering this uh, very difficult to uh, grasp, so to speak, Boise State playbook that is complex. A lot of formations, a lot of uh, motions, you name it. But uh, Jack Sears has a handle on this Boise State offense. And now it's the million dollar question. Who starts under center for the Broncos this evening? I was just looking over my shoulder. Jack Sears, as well as Andy Peters and Cade Fennigan on the field warming up as we speak right now. I will keep my eyes peeled to see if we see Hank Bachmeyer out here warming up as well. JT will provide an update when we're back. Thanks a lot, Will. We appreciate it. At this point, I think the full-on expectation is that we might see Jack Sears for two weeks in a row, given what you just said right there. Uh, we'll check back in in just a moment. In the meantime,